Dope Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. We ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now we're going to talk a little boxing, you know, and talk to the boxing fans, you know, get back to the, you know, guys that just, you know, can't keep it straight. You know, don't care who wins. We just pick people. You know, because y'all know the NBA playoffs is going down. And the Celtics just beat, beat the who knows what out of uh, LeBron and them in that first game. So, you know, you got some, you know, it's going down a little bit. But anyway, we're going to talk a little boxing, right? Now, Canelo Alvarez, middleweight, right? We know the middleweight saga that's going on. We know the man was caught twice with Clenbuterol in his system. And the, he's just saying it's from the tainted meat. But whatever, he's been suspended six months. That fight with Golovkin on May 5th did not happen. Uh, Gennady Golovkin went on to fight Vladis Matarosin, beat him in, in two. And here we are, right? So you got back and forth going on between Canelo and uh, Golovkin and your boy Oscar De La Hoya and everything. But here's something. You know, the WBC has uh, taken uh, your boy Canelo out of their rankings. And it's just interesting because of the fact that uh, Solomon, the, the head for w, the press, WBC, he's been having Canelo's back since day one. He believes it's tainted meat, and Canelo has been clean. But I guess they got to do, you know, it's due process. If you're not, you know, in the, uh, well, he's not in the, in the drug program, the uh, clean boxing, right, where they can test you right now. So he's not enrolled, and that's not a good look. You know, he's you know he's not enrolled. Think about it. You're suspended right now for doping. You're supposed to be opening up the clean doping place at seven in the morning. Up there, they come in there. You cleaning up. Hey man, I'm here early. Well, y'all ain't testing me, so you're supposed to be enrolled. That's a bad look. That's but see, I mean like okay, maybe I'm not presenting it to you like I'm surprised or something. And maybe that's maybe I need to do this over. Like I oh really? You know this is the team. From Canelo Alvarez. This is not uh, your boy uh, Oscar De La Hoya and those cats. It's Golden Boy. You know, so this behavior is, you know, the things that happened last year with some emails uh, magnifies is, is bigger than this, 10 times bigger because of the fact they won't re uh, address them at all. We don't have to. You know, well, weight class is your own weight class, you know, for a while, three or four fights. You know, you face a boxing. I've documented about Canelo. I probably sound like somebody. They probably think I've got something against Canelo. You know, it's not really. It's just the fact that these things are capable of happening in boxing. You know, it can happen because no one's regulating it. So it's just, you know, it's out the box when you watch a lot of other sports. Right? Maybe if you watch only boxing, then it's kind of normal for you. But when you watch a lot of other sports where people find out who the best are, you know, and you know, you just know in certain sports who the best is because they have a ranking system and the, there's a final, a semifinal, a final, those things. In boxing, you know, hey, he's the best. And then we just say it on TV enough and people believe you. And then when you say it's not, you know, then something's wrong with you. So that's how that goes. There's nothing against Canelo, but at the end of the day, uh, he's supposed to be up out of the rankings and he should be enrolled in the clean boxing program if you're planning on fighting again and having any credibility. Now, they're not worried about that because it, they've done enough things that are glaring that um, hasn't deterred them from him being the man, the face of boxing. Hence what I'm about to tell you, right? So he is not in the clean boxing program, not in the WBC rankings, right? But Oscar De La Hoya just said, man, Lufkin, if you don't sign, forget you. You making two million a fight, and he's about to make forty million a fight. So, we're on planet Earth. We all heard what Canelo's going through right now, all of it. And if he is capable of making forty million dollars fighting somebody other than Gennady Golovkin, and he shouldn't even get it for that, neither one of these cats. But okay, you guys would probably let that happen and let that be a big fight, like I've been complaining about. You guys need to do this. Canelo, you gonna fight somebody for three or four million and he gonna be good, right? Golovkin, same with you or you getting stripped. 
after you guys come take care of all these guys around here, the Darren Chinkos, the Jacobs, the Andres, the Charlos, right? It's enough of them. You ain't gonna stop looking past them. You guys fit with the, and I didn't say Billy Joe Saunders, because Canelo don't want none. He just said he's a runner all of a sudden after beating David Lemieux down like that. So those are the guys. And if not, then get the hell out of the way. That's what that is. And that fight that y'all supposed to have, ain't nobody supposed to be making 40 million. But Oscar De La Hoya has stated he can make 40 million without Golovkin. After all this, this went down. Now, if you're still thinking that that's cool, <laughs> then you're probably never going to get the memo. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.